Madam President. Senator from Arizona. Hi, I want to thank the Senator from Arizona, Senior Senator, Senator McCain, uh, for the work that he's done to bring this panel forward. Six judges uh, to be nominated or to be confirmed this week. Uh, that's, that's a big deal, big deal for any state, uh, for a state like Arizona, where we've had such a shortage for so long. Uh, this is particularly important. And I just want to say a, a couple of things about the, the, uh, the three that we will uh, vote on uh, just after I speak. Um, Judge Stephen Logan, John Tucci, and Diane Humitua. Uh, Judge Logan has a distinguished record in the military where he earned a Bronze Star, among many other honors. Uh, in discussing his military service at his nomination hearing, one of Judge Logan's statements stuck out because it exemplifies his dedication to the rule of law and his fitness to be a district court judge. He said, quote, the rule of law in the United States is very, very important. I've seen what happens in a country, two countries in particular, he's referring to Iran and Afghanistan, uh, where there is no rule of law that is active. Uh, judge uh, Logan will bring this important perspective to the bench, as well as insights he has gained as an assistant U.S. attorney, both in Minnesota and in Arizona. Uh, he's familiar with uh, immigration issues as well, which uh, provide a bulk of the cases that, uh, that he'll be looking at as district court judge. Uh, Mr. Tucci has a long career as a, a prosecutor, having served the bulk of his career at the U.S. or Arizona U.S. Attorney's Office from 1998 until now. He's presently serving as Chief Assistant U.S. Attorney, where he oversees civil and criminal uh, personnel and operations. In 2009, he served as interim U.S. Attorney for several months. He has a legal career, uh, or began his legal career as a judicial clerk in the Ninth uh, Circuit. And, uh, and I, I think he's going to make a, a stellar uh, a district court judge as well. Uh, Ms. Humitua, uh, similar to Judge Logan, uh, Ms. Humitawa has served as both a prosecutor and a judge, uh, serving in the Arizona U.S. Attorney's Office as Assistant U.S. Attorney, then as a Senate-confirmed U.S. Attorney for Arizona from 2007 to 2009. She's also previously, uh, she was acting Chief Prosecutor for the Hopi Tribe and an appellate court judge for that tribe. As Senator McCain noted, if confirmed, she will be the first Native American woman <clears throat> to serve on the federal bench. I know that her varied experience as a prosecutor and a judge will serve her well in this capacity. Uh, let me just say how, what a, a, a thrill it was to be in the Judiciary Committee and have all six of these prospective judges come uh, with their families and, and to talk about their experience and, and, uh, and how it would relate to their new, new role if they were to be confirmed. It, it was great to be there to see uh, Diane Humitua and, and family and note that uh, that on the reservation, uh, there were many other family members uh, watching that hearing being streamed uh, and being proud that uh, the first female uh, Native American would be on the federal bench. Uh, what a great thing. What a great thing to happen. And, and it speaks well for her qualifications and the qualifications of the others as well. We look forward in the coming days, uh, also hopefully tomorrow, uh, to vote on Judge Reyes as well, as well as uh, Rosemary Marquez. Um, Senator McCain uh, mentioned Judge Soto. I've had the, the honor of uh, getting to know Judge Soto and his family a bit. Uh, he's served for 13 years on the, uh, on, in the county of Santa Cruz's uh, Superior Court um, and is currently the presiding judge. Uh, the only uh, thing at that hearing that came up is the people of Santa Cruz County are going to be sad uh, to lose him as a judge. Uh, he has been, uh, been, been great there, and he'll be a great district court judge. Um, I, I, again, I am so uh, happy to go through this process. This is my first time being uh, relatively new in this position to go through the process of having uh, judges nominated and go through the process. And, and it was a pleasure to work with Senator McCain on this and also with the White House and the president in, in making these nominations happen. Um, so I, I urge my colleagues to vote uh, both for cloture and for final confirmation of these three judges today and hopefully uh, the other three uh, tomorrow or later. I, I appreciate, uh, again, uh, the, the President for making these nominations. And Arizona has waited a long time uh, to, to fill these judgeships, and uh, we're pleased to do so this week. I yield the floor.